a nice lunch meal during the springtime, crostini with goat's cheese on it with a spicy chutney. The Rayburn's ideally suited to this because every element we can do with the actual cooker. My chutney, slow cooked, 45 minutes to an hour. Then I can keep it from, you know, till next year if I need to. And of course for that I need to have sterilized jars. The lower oven, put my jars in there, it's half the heat of the upper oven, which means leave them in there for half an hour, everything's sterilized. When it comes to my crostini or my toast, like bruschetta, always better if it's done on a hot plate compared to being done in a toaster. So for me, I'll just do my toasting on the very top here, make my chutney on the top, everything's ready to throw together. All the ingredients are chopped. Time to pop it in the pan. In this pan, I've got vinegar, sugar, and chopped apples. To that, I'm going to be adding chopped chili, ginger, my onions, and some tomato. Not finished there. This is a chutney, so I'm gonna add some raisins to it, and then some more spice. Cayenne, a good pinch, and a good pinch of allspice. Now what I'm gonna do with this is put it on the Rayburn itself, hot side to begin with, because I want it to come to the boil, and then I'll slip it across to the simmering side. 45 minutes of simmering, and the chutney's ready for bottling. Only takes a couple of minutes, this is boiling away. But the hot plate's graduated in heat, so if I slip it across to this side now, it's gonna simmer. 45 minutes from now, the chutney's ready. Time to get on with the dressing, that's very simple. In here, teaspoonful of sesame seeds, bit of chopped chili, I'm a sucker for the chili. So and this is just a little tiny bit. Doesn't need to be too much, because it's just to dress a salad. And we go with that. A little bit of chopped ginger. There we go. In. Tablespoonful of lemon. And a little bit of oil. British rapeseed oil, but you can use olive oil. About twice as much oil as lemon. That's a lovely fresh dressing. Chutney's best after two weeks, but can keep up to a year easily. We've got some chutneys that are several years old. This is the last jar of my last batch. Hence the reason I've got some more on the go here. Assembling this dish is all I have to do now. It's dead easy. First of all, we're using crostini. If you go to any Italian restaurant, they don't toast their bread, they put it on a griddle. That's where the Rayburn comes into its own. Because look here. Whip this side up, this is the hot side. And if I pop my bread down there, it's going to char grill. A Couple of moments there and it's ready. So let's assemble. Some salad. And I like a little bit of grated carrot with that. Goat's cheese, sliced, oh look at that. Always serve your cheese at room temperature, much more flavor. Okay, put the heat down there. Because it cooks very quickly, a very different flavor from a toaster. Now, only need two slices per portion. Clove of garlic, quick rub. Ooh, we like that. Likewise on here, a little bit of garlic rubbed onto it. Onto that, I'm going to place a nice piece of goat's cheese. Now a little bit of goat's cheese on the other one. Now, on goes my chutney. Smells good. There we go. Maybe a couple of raisins on that side. Finally, dressing my salad. Got some chili, got some ginger, got some sesame seeds, some lemon juice. Crostini with goat's cheese, spicy chutney, and a lovely little salad. The Rayburn allowed me to put my crostini bread on there, make it all nice and crisp, allowed me to make my chutney and... Um... Yeah. That's good.